Hi, welcome to FurioX.in. In today's session, we'll talk about BAS versus Visual Studio Code. So the tips and tricks which we discussed today will be same and well applicable for both the platforms. So if you have are, haven't yet started with any of this, you can check out the previous video which will tell you the, all the necessary tools which are required and how to get started using BAS. So there we talked about Cloud Foundry, ES Demo system, etc. Likewise, if you wanted to understand how to install Visual Studio Code and respect to tools, you can check out on the home page of Visual Studio Code. Uh, you know, app development using Visual Studio Code. There's a video out there on the YouTube channel home page as well. You can find the same videos. Okay, if you scroll down, you'll find Let's Learn SAP UFA using Visual Studio Code. So you can check out either of the places to get started with any of these platforms. Right. Let's move on to today's topic. So we'll talk about UFA tooling. UFA tooling is essentially, you know, command prompt based commands, which will allow us to do our job easy. So let's understand basic things first. So if you have Visual Studio code ready, first and foremost thing is you need to have, you need to install Visual Studio code if you do not have one and you need to have a Node.js as well environment which is essential. Then comes the third part, UFA tooling. UFA tooling is a set of library which, which will allow us to run commands both in BAS or Visual Studio Code. So both places we are going to use these commands. So first, if you haven't yet created any project, before creating any project, all you need to do is you have to go to terminal and select new terminal. So here type node minus V. So if you can see any version out there, that means your Node.js version has been installed correctly. Then comes the next step of getting started with the wizard. So here, what we are going to do is, we are going to install UFA tooling package. So for in order to install tooling package, all you need to do is type this particular commands, npm install global UFA CLI. So I'm going to talk, uh, share you more details about this tooling in a while. So npm is a package manager which will allow us to, uh, you know, like GitHub, it will is a repost software repository which will allow us to host all the plugins and installations. So now it will be it is installing the UFA tooling library, so it has installed the library. So now we can use all the command prompt based commands, right? So one of the most frequently used command is UFA sir. So this is meant for running our project. So if I type UFA sir, I have created a project using the wizard and it will automatically run the application. So in this case, it's it's failing to run. So if you see the package out here is UFA slash projects. While in my case, the project actually is projects is, a, is you know, uh, the workspace name, whereas the project one is actual project. So you have to select the project, then right click on it, then click on open integrated terminal. This will take you to exact location of the right uh, location of the project. Now, if I, I try to run UFA, sir, it will take me to without have going through all the run config, etc. Straight away, it will, uh, you know, unpack the things and it will directly launch in the local host. Now, it is already hosted. And if you in a while, either you can copy this and uh, paste it onto your browser to see the output. So this is one of the easiest way by which you can run the things. So here there are like two ways. You can straight away click on index.html. So this will take you to the you know application page. Or if you want to run using a mock uh, data, you can go to test folder and select either FLP sandbox or FLP sandbox mock server. Both are one of the same. Mock server will give you with the data, which you know which will mimic the sandbox and on top how a tile looks. So these are the two ways by which we can run the application on the local host. Note one thing. Still, we haven't yet integrated the OData service. So it will doesn't show any data in this case. But I think in this case, if you have linked the ESV system as well, it will straight away show. But for the running in the local host, it always either runs in the, you know, without data or using mock data. So this is the only option which we have. But still, this is very useful, uh, you know, tooling command because it it's you know helps in our day-to-day -day running application applications, right? Uh, 
There is one more thing so like uh, npm package. So if you see on the Visual Studio Code, all the plugins are not pre-installed. In BAS, you get all the uh, plugins pre-installed, like uh, like you have a tooling, etc. Whereas in in case of Visual Studio Code, you need to install all by yourself. So that is the only catch. So that is the only main difference is in case of BAS, you have all the plugins pre-built in. Whereas in case of your local environment, you have to ensure that you have installed your Node. Node.js then followed by UFA tooling package. Apart from this, there is one more thing key difference between BAS and Visual Studio Code is all the generators like auto uh, templates. Now in this case, uh, I have you know um, I have installed this particular visa. So uh, this particular complete tutorial has been explained in Visual Studio Code setup guide. So you can check out there. So here I'm right. See, I have installed two plugins here. Whereas freestyle as well as you know elements based applications. So this will give us some wizards which will which we using which we can straight away. It's you know a step by step process using which you can connect your ESV system as well. So by using this particular steps, if you run the application, it will take you through the OData service page as well. If you want to have new templates, this is an option to explore and install generators. So select this option. So first and foremost, to come to this uh, location, there is one command. So use view, then go to command palette. That is Control Shift P. Here you can type Fury, and there is an application generator. So the moment I click application generator, it will come to this particular template wizard. Then you can go to explore and install uh, option. It will take you through some of the options you can search for fury elements based visa templates if you want to install any new templates you can select fury elements and uh, likewise this has been already installed so likewise now if i um, want some freestyle application i can select sap ufi so if you see there is a new uh, template available with version 2.4.6 so likewise we can install this um, in plugin as well so the new wizards which all are installed will appear on the drop down list of application type note one important thing here so whenever you install make sure to you know close the visual studio code and reopen it so only then the all the new plugins which are installed will be applicable will be visible over here so on the drop down you should see the third plugin installed so this is how we are going to do the basic manual steps in case of visual studio code let's see how it looks in case of bas so i have already you know uh, open the business application studio in my case so if you have if you come to here the commands are same all you need to do is select terminal and click new terminal so in this case it is already you know opened in a particular project so if you see you will find node modules you can right click over there and click on open in terminal so this will take to node modules here we can check out for node minus v See, this is just you know cross checking. All the plugins will be available, so you need not to you know cross check this particular in case of BS. Just for the case of illustration, I'm just showing that Node libraries are pre-installed. Similarly, UFI, I can uh, you know uh, check UFI help as well. So if you see the UFI CLI is also available. So there are like lots of other commands which are very much useful. So if you see uh, for in Visual Studio Code NPM, we need to install UFA CLA. If you install this particular CLA, there are like two major advantages. For all the first time initial setup, you need to do UFA init. So it will generate a YAML file. So this file will help it to initialize all the tooling libraries required for local development. One more advantage is when you're running your application and you want to test in particular UFA version, you can use this particular command UFA use UFA 1.76. So if you want to try it out with 1.45, you can try it at the rate 1.45. So likewise, we can, you know, using, uh, you know, this particular commands, we can straight away run in respect to environments and we can test in our Visual Studio Code as well. So the same commands, we can use it, you know, in BAS as well. If you type in BAS as well, UFA use, so it will run in specific environment. So most frequently used one is UFA sir. So make sure you remember UFA sir. To you know, start using it. And um, uglification and beautification are two things which are important in case of uh, any of our uh, you know 
production releases. So for that purpose, we need some build tools. So UFA tooling allows us to do these particular build activities, uh, you know, directly. So this is.